All right, today uh, I'm gonna, we're going to talk about the into the unknown, the future, and the fear of education. I'll get straight into the point. According to Martin Luther King Jr., he once said, the function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that's the goal of true education. Take a look at these calculators. See the calculators, right? They were first invented in the 1960s to the 1970s. And many teachers, when the first calculators were released, believe that they detract the ability to solve mathematical problems. But as we go into the 2010s or 2020s, it became widely accepted. Take a look at these computers. It first became common in the 1980s. And at the time it became released, over 15 million people used it in the 1980s. But again, like most people think about the over-reliance of technology, and that still exists right now. Now, the era of chat GPT at life arrives. The, right, the AI bot that everybody's talking about. It can create answers for you, and it can solve questions within seconds. My question to all of you is how can we deal with this newly adopted technology? And what's the future of education system once we meet this challenge? We are constantly inundated by the latest and the greatest technologies in the world. From VR, virtual reality tech based education, to AI powered uh, learning software, we are told that each major uh, release of technology will uh, learn, uh, will make people learn more faster and actually learn more. And now I will get to why uh, technology, less technology is required for the education. The first is about human connection. Human, human connection is the connection between students and the teachers and the students itself. I have some questions to all of you. First, how many times have you looked at, scrolled to Instagram, scrolled to the internet, and saw, and saw some meaningful things in your life? Also, how many times you have chat GPT to get a meaningful response that will revolutionize your life? The reality is that if you, uh, if you have a con, uh, if you connect with students as students or people or people, it is way better than people with technology and technology or AI. According to Jan Gooding, an educational professor, we learn best when we can discuss, compare notes, get other uh, perspectives, socialize, make friends, feel encouraged make mistakes and admit we don't understand something. Let's go to addiction. First, uh, technology is addictive. We, we use technology and technology is designed to get us hooked. According to Kelly Wallace from CNN, 68%, uh, 69% of parents and 78% of teens check their devices at least hourly. Also, according to the Common Sense Media, 18 research studies found that internet addiction might affect between 0 and 26% of adolescents and college students in the United States. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is accessibility. While many of us take uh, the latest and the greatest technologies for granted, like us here, the reality is that not everyone does. By relying on the latest and the greatest technology, we make other uh, impoverished nations or impoverished people fall behind. On average, about 60% of people in the world use the internet. But the reality is that only 30% of South Asian, South Asians and the Sub-Saharan Africans use the internet daily. So what's the alternative? How can we make the education effective, engaging while using less technology? I believe that the answer lies on the fundamentals. We have to foster the development of three main skills. 
critical thinking skills, communication skills, and mainly the 21st century skills. And what's the result? It fosters human connections and engagement. Now, let me, let me conclude with this. Education is not about technology. Education is about human, fostering human connections between students, teachers, and the students themselves. Many of us take the latest and, uh, latest and greatest technologies for granted, but the reality is that not everyone does. To support these people, we have to make sure to uh, use less technology. And let me tell you this, the future of education is not technology. Thank you.